Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Friday the 15th of October. The local media headlines today. Now what do you do if you're a local authority which owns 13 leisure centres and your outsourced management company tells you it wants to close four of them? Well, if you're Cornwall Council, you keep it secret for as long as possible. County Hall knew on the 8th of June what was happening, but didn't say anything until after the story was broken in Cornwall Reports on the 15th of September. That story has now led to something of a scramble at the Council, as officials scurry to get their Cabinet to make a decision no later than the 15th of December. This would effectively prevent any formal scrutiny of the closures. Nevertheless, it looks as if there will be plenty of protesters at County Hall next Tuesday, as local communities communities start to fight back. Falmouth Town Council is holding a special meeting about it tomorrow. In Covid news, the government is set to offer extra help to councils in the north of England, even though Cornwall has a higher rate of infection. And as the inquest continues into the loss of a French fishing boat off the coast of Cornwall 17 years ago, the Navy says it was nothing to do with them. Pirate FM also reported Cornwall's rapidly rising rate of Covid infection. There have been two more Covid deaths in Cornwall in 24 hours. The Falmouth Packet reported a robbery in the town centre in the early hours of yesterday morning. The BBC welcomes the return of county rugby. And finally, Cornwall Live thinks there could be a dinosaur living in the sea off the Roseland Peninsula. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again on Monday. Until then, have a great weekend. Bye-bye.